Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the issue of not being able to edit .mov files in Sony Vegas Pro. Now I'm running Sony Vegas Pro version 14, so I don't know if the issue is present in your versions. When you copy files over from your iPhone, these are going to be .mov file format. So if you right click on the file, go to properties, we can see here the .mov file. Now, ideally, what I want to be able to do is copy files from my iPhone and then be able to edit them in Sony Vegas. Because Sony Vegas does not support .mov file format, I currently cannot do that. So just to show you, let's open up Sony Vegas and try to edit one of these files. So let's choose this one. I'm going to drag and drop this into Sony Vegas. And as you can see, we get an error. So let's let's click on OK. As you can see, none of the files dropped on Vegas Pro could be opened. Click on OK. So what we are going to do is convert these .mov files using VLC into a format that is supported by Sony Vegas. That way we can then edit those files and then finally render the video. So to do this, go to the source file, right click, go to properties, go to the details tab and then scroll down. So the video information and the audio information is what we are going to use to convert this file into a different format that then we can use in Sony Vegas. So let's move this to the right here so that we can see it and then open VLC. Go to media, go to convert forward slash save. And then here you can select the file that you want to convert. So click on the add button and choose a file that you want to convert. So I'm going to choose the 9501 file click on open, click on convert forward slash save. And then here we are going to specify some settings. So in the drop down, select video MPEG-2 plus MPGATS, and then click on edit selected profile. So in the encapsulation, select MPEG-TS. Next, go to video codec, check the video tick box and uncheck keep original video track. And then encoding parameters under codec, we are going to select in the drop down H-265. The bit rate, we are going to stick with something similar to our source file. So here we're seeing a bit rate of about 7,522. Uh, I've specified 7000. You can specify something lower than the value that you see in the source file. And the FPS is 30, matching the FPS, uh, same as the source file. Next, go to resolution. And the frame width is going to be 1920 and the height is going to be 1080. So this is the resolution that I use. And the filters tab is going to be empty, nothing here. Under the audio codec, again, we're going to check the, the audio tick box and then uncheck the keep original video track. And then we're going to specify some parameters here. So the codec is going to be the default MPEG audio. The bitrate, again, we're going to leave the default of 128. The channels is also going to be the default of two channels. The sample rate, we're going to specify 44100. So same as the source file. And the subtitles, we don't need to do anything here. Click on save. And that's it. Now let's specify the destination file name. So click on browse. I'm going to save this into the desktop and name this dash converted. Click on save and then click on start. 
Now, as you can see, it's in progress. So once this reaches the end, you will get notification that the file conversion has finished. So give it a few seconds. So once it's converted, just close this and also close VLC itself. It can be a bit annoying. That's it. This is our converted file on the desktop. Let's have a look at the file. As you can see, the video looks good and it also contains sound. So good so far. Let's close this and see if we can use this file in Sony Vegas. So close this, open Sony Vegas, drag and drop that file into project media. The fact that we can see the video is good news so far. So drag and drop that into the timeline. When you get the notification, if you want to match the project video settings, just click on no. And let's preview the video. So it looks good. The only thing I would mention is that the sound is slightly out of sync, but regardless, the sound is there and the video is there and both are working. Now we can finally render or try rendering the video as well to see if it works or not. Now we can try rendering the video as well. So click on file, render as, and let's put this somewhere. Let's give it a name of test. Click on save. I'm going to use my own project settings of 19, uh, 20, 1080, 60 FPS. So click on render. As you can see, the video is being rendered without any problems. As you can see, everything looks good and that's how you do it. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone who's using iPhone to record videos and then importing them into the PC and then further editing them in Sony Vegas. This method isn't the most efficient, but it is one that works. The only thing again I would mention is that the sound is slightly out of sync uh, against the video and I haven't found the root cause of why that's happening because the actual video itself is converting properly without any issues but it's once it's imported into Sony Vegas is where that that difference between the sound and the video occurs regardless I hope someone out there found this helpful uh, I want to thank you for watching stay safe and take care bye bye